Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Effects tutorial series, you will learn how to create soft shadow in PowerPoint. Let us let us see the difference between the default shadow of PowerPoint and the shadow that is created by us from scratch. There is a significant difference in terms of the quality of shadow here. If you see here the default shadow, you can see that uh, it has fairly sharp edges and the color is also not really uh, good enough. Maybe you can adjust the transparency, but overall it, it looks too artificial to actually give a proper 3D perspective to any 3D object, whereas here it looks quite authentic. So let us see how to create this beautiful soft shadow in PowerPoint. Once you learn how to create this and once you've created one, you can always copy this and paste it wherever you want and therefore the work will be saved. Let us see how to create this from scratch. I am going to a new slide. So the as, as you always know, new slide is here. So whenever you want to create a new slide, you click on this one. All right. So let us first uh, copy this 3D object or this this one this 3d object and keep it here and I'm going to remove the shadow here so we are going to start from a clean slate the next step is to go to auto shapes menu and under basic shapes pick up this one called as the oval tool and draw an ellipse with it this is going to be the shadow for us. Now remove the shape outline by going to shape outline and saying no outline. Now the fill is going to be a gradient fill. So what we're going to do is go to this effects option fill means sorry, this fill option and fill and go for gradient fill. Now naturally this has picked up whatever that I have already created. Let me do this from scratch. So let me take one of the default ones like say this one so this is one of the default um, what do you call default gradients available here so it is called a stop spotlight accent 2 now let me change all the aspects here to show you how the shadow is created the first thing is to change the type of the fill gradient fill from radial to path now we have three gradient stops here you require only two so I'm going to click on the middle one and remove now the first one, the stop one, is at zero position. I want it at 25%, so I'm going to change here 25%. The second one is at 100%. Now what I'm going to do is, the first one, I'm going to give it a much darker color. So maybe this is a good one, called black text one, light up 15%, and I've got that there. The next one here, I'm going to have, it's the stop, stop two at 100%, the color is white background one. Now as you can see here, it almost looks like shadow, but the only thing that we need to do to make it complete is to change the transparency of this gradient stop to from 100% to from 0% to 100%. And there it is, our shadow is ready. Now you need to right click and send to back and put this right under this and you have the shadow ready. Now. You can make it thinner to alter the light effect here and you can make it wider. So this gives a perspective of seeing it from the top angle. You can do a lot of uh, variations with it and uh, I leave it to you to experiment with the various options available. For now I am going to make this into the normal elliptical shape and keep it right under the 3D object. A shadow is extremely useful in almost every slide creation that involves 3D objects. I'm going to show you some example templates from PowerPoint CEO packs where we have used shadow for 3D objects and you can see the application of what we have learned just now. This is the first example and here we are showing the wheel diagram and see how the wheel diagram 
gives the perspective gives a 3d perspective gets a 3d perspective from this beautiful soft shadow and here you can add text to mark out the various segments of this wheel diagram let me show you another example this is about a concept slide which shows finding the right key to your problem and here is the problem here is the key to the problem and once you find the solution this is how the end solution would be and here we have used the soft shadow let me show you another example template here we have shown the concept of standing out from the rest or the special one and see how these shadows have been kept under these uh, balls and it's almost as if you don't notice it so that is the important thing that you, your shadow should not stand out it should look very natural let me show you another example and here is an editable chart so we have made a lot of these with 10% 25% etc and you can find a lot more variations in our powerpoint ceo packs and even in this you can actually see the soft shadow uh, given to these various uh, editable charts you can write your text here if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to work on the various aspects of your graphics and polish it to make it to perfection you can always go in for our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 the two ceo packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for ceos and busy business presenters like you just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality business slides has never been easier hope you liked our tutorial on creating soft shadow in powerpoint if you want to learn more such tutorials more such techniques watch videos please visit us at presentationprocess.com you will really find a lot of useful information to improve your presentation skills thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting